What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Bitcoin Cash, but before we get started, if you're not a member of the free Discord, please click the link in the description box below and get started with the free Discord. And without further ado, we'll get straight into today's video. Okay, so Bitcoin Cash, we're going to start off on the daily candlesticks here. And the very first thing that I want to tell you guys, today is the last day of the Memorial Day sell for the VIP. So if you're interested in the VIP program, make sure you click the link in the description below and use the coupon code MEMORIAL in all caps to get 20% off Lifetime VIP. All right, so let's get started here with Bitcoin Cash. Now, we've been talking about wave one, wave two, and wave three, and potentially wave four and wave five coming here with Bitcoin Cash on the daily time frame. This is not the big picture Elliott Wave count. This is the daily Elliott Wave count. In other words, there's a bigger picture Elliott Wave count taking place that could take us a lot higher than where we're showing with wave five here. However, on the daily, we are counting out this LA wave cycle and paying attention to it. Now, wave four could be in place right now, but let's talk about a little bit of an alternative here. Wave four can go as low as the top of wave one. So if Ethereum was to pull back due to, the, due to a lot of people selling news, there's a common thing that happens where people buy the rumor and sell the news. Also, Ethereum went up like 30% really quickly, so the real reason it would pull back is because of human emotion. But it's definitely a real phenomena where people buy the rumor and sell the news. So let's say Ethereum pulled back 10, 20%, then wave four could go as low as $338 here on the top of wave one. So if we are to get a pullback, don't be shocked if wave four goes a little bit lower than current price if we were to go like this and then turn around and start to go up for wave five here on Bitcoin Cash. So that can definitely happen, but also it's very common for wave four to stop between the 382, the 50% and the 618 level. And you guys can see that we landed right onto that 50% level right here. And as a result of us landing onto this 50% level, right there, that's a common place for wave four to stop. So those are the kind of two alternatives here on the daily time frame that I'm seeing. We could pull back down a little bit here for wave four, or we could be bottomed out on wave four currently due to the 50% Fibonacci ratio. Either way, you guys, we're gonna go for wave five. So don't get too worried about what's happening in the short term if we go lower by the dip, and just don't be scared if it pulls back. If it keeps going higher, then it's following Elliott Wave Theory perfectly as well. So either way, it's following the rules of Elliott Wave Theory. And to keep your eyes on the prize of this fifth wave coming whenever it comes is really the name of the game in investing. Because when you can play the big swings and you can play those big picture moves, it doesn't matter what happens over the weekend or what happens over a one week, two week, or even a monthly period of time. What matters is happening in the bigger time frame over multiple months and sometimes even years. And that's what's profitable and lucrative to trade in these markets. And as you guys can see on the daily time frame, when we're zoomed out like this, you can go all the way back till 2023 right here. 2023 is like right here, right? So that goes to show that the bigger time frame is what's really important because that shorter time frame is a lot more volatile and random. You know, you get little pullbacks and unexpected moves and things that people aren't looking for. 
So yeah, just pay attention to the big picture because that's where the money is made and that's how you're going to print money in your crypto portfolio is paying attention to that big picture move. Now let's remove all the drawing tools here and we'll go out to the four-day candlesticks and talk more about the big picture here with Bitcoin Cash. So in the bigger picture here with Bitcoin Cash, unlike the four-day, even more zoomed out, you guys can see that we have A, B, and C wave down. A, B, C down. And that A, B, C wave is a very, very common pattern that we're looking for in these markets. And like I said, we have a bigger picture Elliott wave structure taking place here where we have a bigger wave one and wave two taking place. That's why we're counting the sub waves inside of wave one because Elliott waves can be subdivided. So you can count waves inside of waves. And that bigger picture, wave one and wave two, is the reason that we're having those impulse waves on the daily time frame. So as we get prepared here for a bigger picture, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five, I think this market's really going to go pretty high here. And wave five is often extended. So in normal Elliott Wave theory, when you're trading other markets, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Then you get a little five wave. Not a big one, but a little one. Then you get your ABC correction down, A, B, and C wave down. Well, in the crypto markets, in the big picture, Almost all of those cycles have extended fifth waves. That's why it's so exciting near the top, but it's also why everybody FOMO buys and why they get tricked and think it's going to go up forever because that five wave is so big, it just looks like it's going to take over the whole planet. <laughs> you know, like crypto is just going to become a household name overnight. And that's not how markets work. They have to go back down when they're overextended. But extended fifth waves happen in commodity markets like gold and silver and copper, but also they happen in crypto in the big picture, just like how they happen in commodity markets in the big picture. And truly, crypto looks a lot like commodity markets like silver and gold, the patterns that they make, the fractals that they make. The difference is crypto moves faster, so it's funner and more profitable to trade because it's more volatile but the same patterns appear. Now, also the same patterns we use to trade crypto, you can trade the world markets too. You can trade the stocks, you can trade whatever you're trying to trade, the same patterns, but there's even more of a similarity between commodity markets and crypto markets. An even stronger connection or, or similarity between those patterns that appear. And it's interesting because crypto is called, a lot of times people call crypto digital gold or Bitcoin specifically, but they call Litecoin digital silver and other ones, right? And that's just the term that they've placed on it. But at the same time, you can really see that these patterns do look like commodity markets like silver, gold, oil, and it's really cool to see that. So here with Bitcoin Cash, I do suspect we see more upside on Bitcoin Cash. The question is, you know, are we just going to go straight vertical right here for wave five? Definitely possible. We've got a lot of momentum. Or are we going to pull back here over the next week or two and then go back up for wave five? Also possible. Who really cares, right? You should watch this area up here. And I'm not trying to give you guys a price target here. I'm just saying be prepared for wave five because that's the structure that we're having here with Bitcoin Cash is we're in wave three and we're either done with wave four or getting ready to finish wave four and wave five is coming. So who cares what happens? It's always an opportunity to buy the dip. Now, if you guys are trading leverage, then you got to be careful buying tops. You got to be careful how much leverage you're using, because if you're using leverage, and the market does do a pullback like this. Everybody's all excited. They're all buying right now. If the market does pull back 10 or 
then every, a lot of people are going to lose money because of leverage, because of over being over leveraged. So don't over leverage yourself. Spot trading is the best, especially for beginners. If you ever do get into leverage, you want to use such a small percentage of your total portfolio that if it goes south, it doesn't matter, right? That's how you play leverage. But yeah, you just have to understand, you guys, that the market can pull back. And if it does, and you're in a lev leverage trade, or you've been buying the top of certain coins, like coins that, have, that are up 70% over the last couple of weeks, don't be shocked if they pull back 10 or 20% before they go higher. That's how markets work, you know? And that's, that's just something to keep in mind. It doesn't have to. The markets can just keep going up. There's a lot of momentum and excitement. They can keep going up. But it's very common for people to buy the rumor, like the Ethereum ETF, right? And then sell the news. So once everybody's aware of the news and they all think it's bullish, a lot of professionals sell the news. They're like, okay, well, everybody's all excited. You know, they're going to be selling. Now, we don't trade news, but we do look at various catalysts. We look at the charts, and that's what we use to base our analysis. We were focused on technical analysis in our community and in, in these videos. However, that doesn't mean you can't be aware of certain catalysts that are in conjunction with your technical analysis to get a better idea of what's going on in the market. So yeah, overall, Bitcoin Cash looks amazing here and a lot of people that are selling are going to really re regret it. So if we go over to the total market cap real quick, I mean, like I said, the short term can, can pull back, right? But I'm talking about the big picture in these videos. My channel is dedicated to big picture technical analysis. So any pullbacks that happen in the short term, anything like that, don't worry about it. Buy the dip. If you're in an uptrend, buy the dip in uptrends, right? That's the focus that you should have. So here at the total crypto market cap, we've talked about this rounded bottom multiple, multiple times now. And this rounded bottom is a strong sign that this crypto bull market's going to be bigger than people think it is. It's going to last longer. It's going to be bigger, more parabolic, more money. It's going to be mass adoption, institutional phase of the cycle, right? Now, there's two things that I see here with the total market cap. We could pull back here and make a bigger ABC structure like this, where we do this, wave A, wave B, and wave C, and we go for another leg down here just in the short term over the next couple of weeks or whatever. I'm not talking about the end of the bull market, and this is definitely... This does not have to happen. I'm just making you guys aware if a pullback happens, don't panic sell. Panic buy, right? We're in a big picture bull market. All dips are for buying. So that's one thing that can happen. The other thing I could see happening is pushing up through resistance up to this next major resistance level in the total market cap, maybe even pushing slightly above and then pulling back to find support before we go higher. So those are the two things that could happen here with the total market cap. And right now, because of a rising wedge on Pepe, I'm leaning a little bit bearish, but if we start to break bullish out of that rising wedge and the rising wedge doesn't confirm, then I'll definitely think that we're gonna do this, right? I definitely think we're gonna go up to 3 trillion, 3.2 trillion before another pullback like we saw right here. So those are the two scenarios. And that's my view on Bitcoin Cash and the total market cap. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And again, link in the description for 20% off Lifetime VIP. Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I love and appreciate every single one of you. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and share it with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. As always, stay profitable out there.